guys welcome or welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be traveling to Mannheim together slash doing a little reading vlog again it's actually super rainy so I think I'm gonna have to change my shirt I was wearing this super big Tupac shirt with my khakis but now I think I'm gonna just put on a oversized sweater I don't know we're gonna see Okay, so I'm back from being at Mannheim and I know that I was like, oh, I'm gonna record and then I didn't. So just consider this literally a reading vlog at this point and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul of what I got. It's not a lot, so it shouldn't take up that much time and then we can get ready for bed and start reading and talk about what I read in the car. Okay, so first things first, we went to TK Maxx and I ended up finding these flats. And they're actually Lauren, as in Ralph Lauren, and they were in my size, so I had to get them. They're super cute, and I was really looking for, like, summery, sandaly shoes, so these kind of fit what I was looking for. Um, I did not find any other sandals, which was kind of upsetting, but other than that, that's pretty much it that I got from TK Maxx. Okay, and then we made our way to Urban Outfitters because they were having a 50% sale and where I live there's not like an Urban Outfitters just like around the corner and usually when you do go to Urban Outfitters it's like $60 for each item so anyways this $50 share really got me going and I got this long very long little strawberry and flower dress and she's green and I honestly love it. I think it's so cute. It's not like common or basic. I just feel like it's really, she's giving the butt. She's giving what she needs to give. And then I got one of the cutest things I think I've ever seen in my life. And it is a cardigan with bows on it. Like tell me this isn't the cutest thing you've ever seen. Uh, it's giving book girly vibes and I'm literally here for it. And I love this cardigan so much. And I cannot wait to wear this in public. And then the last thing I got, I actually got from Snipes, which is basically like another sneaker store, but just in Europe. And I got these really popular Adidas. I think they're like Sambas. I think that's how you say that. These are really popular just in Europe or like where I live. And I finally got them. And I think they're cute. I saw this one girl wearing them when I went to school like a year ago. Um, and I always thought they looked really good on her, so I was like, mm, yeah, I want to get some. So, so I got them. It only took me a year later, but I finally got them. And I'm really excited to wear these with, like, my cargos and stuff, because I wear my cargos so often. But I honestly think they're super cute. Like, I actually really like them. They're just giving, they're giving vibes. But I'm here for it. So I don't know if you guys were able to see, but I actually ended up picking Twisted Hate as the book that I was going to read in the car. And it was very hard hard to read and record in the car and that's also another reason why I like kind of didn't film but I only got 4% into Twisted Hate. I'm gonna be honest I fell asleep and by the time I woke up we were already in Mannheim so I was like girl <laughs> sorry like oops but I do have to say that it's really hard for me to read Twisted Hate just because ever since I finished Twisted Love which was like forever ago I've had like this secret hatred for Josh and like the way that he treated Ava and Alex's relationship just really pissed me off and like I really like ever since that moment ever since he acted like that I've haven't liked him and I have a feeling that I'm not gonna like him in this book even though like he's like my type typically so I feel like, I don't know, like I just, I I don't vibe with him. I think he's literally the exact way that Jules described him is just that he's very like, he's just an asshole. Like, I'm sorry. That's just what vibes I get from him and how I feel about him, which sucks. And I feel like Jules is going to be a character that I really, really like. So I don't really know, I don't know. I don't really know how I'm going to feel about this book. The only really reason that I want to read this book is so that I can say that I've read all of Anna Huang's books, which I know is like a really bad reason because I love Anna Huang. I really, really do. But I just think my favorite book is going to be Twisted Love. And it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't.
Okay, so it's the next morning, and I got about 13% through Twisted Hate, and honestly, I'm not, like, loving, loving it, but I think what I'm loving is in Huang's writing, because I'm liking it more than I thought I would, and I think it's just because of her writing and the way that the characters, or the way that the book is written. I honestly still don't like Josh. I like him more than what I previously said, but I still don't like him. So I stand by that. Um, I like Jules. I just think there's things that we don't know about Jules that I want to know. Because I feel like the depth of her character is the thing that's really going to make me like love Jules so much. Just um, As for Josh, getting his perspective on everything that happened with Alex really early on in the book kind of changes my opinion on him. Which is why I say I think I like the book more. Just because I'm really happy that it's not just about the fact that of everything that happened with Ava, like I just think that's none of his business. Having like his perspective on that, I think I understand him and why he's acting the way he's acting versus why I thought he was acting the way he was acting. So I think I am gonna end up liking Josh. And yeah, I'm just gonna see how their relationship is supposed to go. Cause they are very similar and they are very stubborn, but I feel like I'm also very stubborn. So maybe I'll relate to it, but I have to, go to work. So that's my work fit. A few moments later. So it's a few days later and I'm only 25% through Twisted Hate and honestly I feel like I should read something else but I don't want to at the same time just because otherwise I literally don't think I'm gonna finish a book in this reading vlog. Um because I've been really really busy with work and then when I get home I'm super tired so I end up just falling asleep and I don't know what to do. And I want to read, but I feel like my mood has been so uppy down to me that I, like, don't have, like, the energy to read. So I don't know what to do, but I'm going to try and finish at least one book in this reading vlog, and let's... Okay, so I'm back and I actually finished Twisted Hate and I'm happy to say that I finished a book in this reading vlog. Um, I, my thoughts on Twisted Hate are like up in the air. I literally just finished it. So like, I love Jules and I love Josh and I love them in their relationship just because I like their chemistry. Like I like the arguing aspect of their relationship like I just think it's adorable like I just I just love it I love it super duper super duper cutesy anywho I remember just seeing things about people saying that Josh cheated on her so I was really waiting for that the entire book and then like right when it got to like that 75% where like the big third act breakup happens I was like oh wait that's not what it said some of them did say that but that's not what it meant when they said that or something like that. I don't know how to explain that, but you get my point. <laughs> Overall, I gave the book like four stars. My cat had to stretch, sorry. But I gave the book four stars. I think the book was good. Like I, again, I love Anna Huang books. Um, she is literally my favorite author. So I, I love her writing. I will always love her writing, I think. Um, the spicy scenes were definitely I just, I love Anna Huang, and I really liked this book more than I thought I was going to, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm really interested to see which of the Twisted series is going to be my favorite also, because a lot of people love Jules, and I love Jules as a character, and like her personality as a character, and again, her relationship with Josh, but I don't know if their relationship or the couple themselves is my favorite. And I'm pretty sure Twisted Love is still going to be my favorite within the series. And I just think that's just because I fell in love with Ava and Alex so early on. And I like can't forget how I felt during that. And I don't think I've ever felt like that for any like other characters within the Twisted series. I don't know. But I also haven't read Twisted Lies. So maybe my opinion will change. Maybe Christian and Stella will be my favorite. But I really don't know if that will be the case. 
just because I'm really one of those people who hates liars and I know that like that's the whole issue that happens between Stella and Christian. So I don't know if that's definitely gonna sit well for me, but one can see. As for what I'm gonna read next, I think I am gonna read Twisted Lies next because then I would have fulfilled my first goal for June, which is finishing all of Anna Huang's books because the last book that I have to finish for Anna Huang is Twisted Lies. And I'm super duper excited and I really, I'm just so proud of myself. Like you guys don't understand, I'm so proud of myself for finishing Twisted Hate and now knowing that the only book I have to finish is Twisted Lies. And I literally own almost all of her books and they're on my shelf. The only series that I don't own is the If Love series. And if I finish Twisted Lies, I feel like I owe it to myself to put that on my bookshelf because I would have officially read all of her books and I'm so excited. Anyways, so I think I'm gonna start reading Twisted Lies. I don't know if I'm gonna read it right now or if I'm gonna take a little break and do update my little reading journal. I think I'm gonna update my reading journal though because I think I need a break from my Kindle for a little bit. Um, other than that, that's it. We finished Twisted Hate. Okay, so I am about 30% through Twisted Lies and I do love more than I thought I would. I honestly didn't think he was going to be a favorite. I feel like it's really going to be a big toss up between him and Alex, depending on how this book, <laughs> depending on how this book goes. I feel like Alex and Christian are going to be like head and head, like who is better. Um, that's really all I have to say. I do like Stella. I just think she has a lot going on for her and I definitely relate to some of it just because I've had some creepy people in my comment section. Um, I haven't had any stalkers though, so, but I have had creepy people, so I definitely like kind of get it. Like it's more relatable from her standpoint, but I love the way that Christian is and I love how protective he is of her. I just wish he would admit the way he feels because like we could be... Also, I just got back from having dinner with my dad and I had a margarita for the first time, so it was a strawberry margarita. Cause you know, I'm a strawberry girl. So, sorry, my cat keeps making it night. Um, it's been like a week and I'm 90% through to his advice. So that's really fun. Um, to be honest, just because I'm so far through it, I feel like I'm just gonna say my thoughts kind of like after I finish this little 8% that I have left because there was so much going on through my brain and I feel like this was very much a slow burn romance which I was not expecting when I first picked it up because I think a lot of the other ones they catch on really quickly or just they start sooner than the rest of the book I feel like those usually start around like the 30% and this one didn't start like really kicking off until like past 50% so I feel like you know it was a little bit of a slow burn but I love I actually do I actually kind of don't really care for their type of argument I understand it because of like everything that still has gone through but my also my understanding is kind of just like a like a I just don't really care because I feel like I would be a quite honored just a little bit that somebody saw me and was like oh, and then like you know just a little bit um, but I could understand, like, why she felt that way, especially, like, again, with everything that she went through, but, yeah. So, right now, the book for me is at, like, a 4.5, so I'm pretty sure that's kind of, like, where it's gonna stay, but I'm gonna finish my little 10%, give you guys my actual rating. Ultimately, I think I'm giving Twisted Lies a 4.5 just because of, again, it was good, but nothing I think beats Twisted Love in my opinion. That's pretty much it. I feel like I've said a lot of my thoughts prior to when I was finishing the book. I do love the ending of Twisted Lies. I think it makes up for like a slow beginning if that's not really what you're into. Um, other than that, do I recommend the Twisted series altogether? 100% yes. They're so filled with so many different things and it's just... Anyways guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribed 
and like the video and comment and tell me what you want to see next. I'm so sorry that this video came out a week late, but I was a busy girl. And I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!